yeah, when I was 22 years old, I got into my old car, drove down to Croatia, started writing my final thesis. Alongside, I started the business. Govori malo hrvatski. Razumijem puno. Okay. Yes. Padeže are, are very difficult to me. <laughs> Let me just say eh. <laughs> eh. You can become first offering a service or a product like that in this country. You actually have a first mover advantage and first mover advantage also allows you to um, to become a market leader and that's why i wanted to be also among the first companies to actually introduce a four-day work week enough time for family for relaxation for development for exercise but have you experienced someone being like what is this guy talking about is this guy crazy only for us now <laughs> <laughs> after I wrote the open letter on LinkedIn, uh, 44 days after that, I met with him in uh, the Prime Minister's office. In the month July alone, there were 1,200 digital nomads that checked into Zagreb. There were 1,200 that checked into Split and another 600 in Dubrovnik. I have to admit that the first thing that I really had to get used to uh, when I just started living in Croatia was that everybody was pretty much just showing up late for appointments. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you maybe familiar with the thing uh, that something is doyaya? To, like eggs? <laughs> yeah, or balls. Vrag prišu Never heard. <laughs>